Hi, my name is Sarah Richter. In this video, I'm going to show you the recording functions of our Cinema 4D plugin KCA MoCap V2 Basic. First, make sure that the Kinect V2 hardware is properly connected to your computer. Let's launch Cinema 4D and then the plugin. You will find it in the main menu under Plugins, KCA Motion Capture V2 Prime, the recording room v2 the user interface opens automatically make sure you're in the middle tab record you can define at which frame the recording should start this value is set to zero by default but you can change it for example let's say to 50 and it jumps automatically to the frame 50 in your timeline let's go back to zero Okay. Define for how long you will record the motion capture data. Let's say we record from frame 0 until frame 300. Divide this by 30. We have a total amount of frames of 300. 300 divided by 30 frames per second. And you get a recording time of 10 seconds. You can record both the body and the face separately or even simultaneously. However, there are a few things that you should know. A. If you wish to record only the facial movements, you still need to check both the face and body. Because at the moment, the Kinect V2 still needs to always calibrate the body at the beginning of your recording. Then you could move closer to the Kinect so it only captures the facial expressions. And uh, B, if you wish to record both the face and body simultaneously, remember the further away your face is from the Kinect, the fewer data it will be able to collect. This is like in real life. The further away you stand from another person, the fewer details you can see. Okay, uh, you can record up to three people at the same time, which we thought was an interesting number considering the recording area. To differentiate the actors, uh, they should wear full colors such as blue, red, and black. The skeletons moving like the actors will adopt those colors. Click on the record button. I'm going to do that in a minute. Uh, first, I'm going to explain. And then a countdown of 10 seconds will begin, giving you time to position yourself in front of the Kinect. This allows you to work with our plugin on your own. Uh, activate the recording by moving your hand up next to your head and then down like waving. A few tips before I hit on record. Uh, position the Kinect at the height of the actor's hip. Stand about 2.5 meters, which equals about 8 feet away from the Kinect, while facing it in a T-pose, lowering your arms a little. You can stop the recording at any time by clicking on the stop button. Okay, let's make a quick example. Okay, that's it. We will take a look at the editing tab in another video. Thanks for watching.